A muon is an unstable subatomic particle. It is a bit like an electron, but it has a much greater mass and a very short life. To visualize a muon, let's imagine it as a blue ball. So, where do these muons exist? One place we find muons is in the Earth's upper atmosphere. Cosmic rays, which are mostly high energy protons, collide with molecules in the Earth's atmosphere. And one of the byproducts of these collisions are high energy muons, traveling at relativistic speeds. By relativistic speeds, we mean speeds that are close to the speed of light, c, which is around 300 million meters per second. If a muon is stationary, it has a mean lifetime of 2.2 microseconds, which is a tiny fraction of a second. Some muons have shorter lives, and some muons have longer lives, but the average is 2.2 microseconds. This muon was created 10 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, and is traveling at 0.98 times the speed of light. How long will it take the muon to reach the ground? Using Newtonian mechanics, we know that time equals distance divided by velocity, and we can calculate that the muon will take 34 microseconds to travel the 10 kilometers or 10,000 meters to reach the ground. This is much longer than the mean lifetime of the unstable muon, and most muons should decay long before they have time to reach the ground. But lots of muons do reach the ground. We know this because muons from the upper atmosphere are detected in cloud chambers and other devices on the ground. They don't all decay before they reach us. How can this be? Do muons travel through time to reach the ground before they decay? If we use Einstein's special theory of relativity to do the calculation, we discover that the lifetime of a muon depends on the frame of reference of the observer. If a muon is moving at close to the speed of light, its lifetime will appear much longer to an observer at rest on the Earth. This is because of time dilation. Using the equation for time dilation, you can calculate TV, the mean lifetime of a moving muon. It turns out to be about 11 microseconds, which is five times longer than the lifetime in the rest frame. With a mean lifetime of 11 microseconds, a lot more muons have time to travel all the way to the Earth. So, when observed from the ground, some muons will decay on their way down, while some longer-lived muons have time to reach the Earth. Lots of muons are detected at ground level on Earth, and this is real evidence for Einstein's special theory of relativity. <laughs>